Hello and welcome to a review of uh, Lego Ninjago Bootleg by Deku. Again, we haven't seen them in a while, but uh, here's some Deku Ninjago. If we I remember back when uh, Toy Review Channel started getting big, was um, when uh, you know Lily, Bella, Deku, and eventually Shingon all did a lot of Ninjago stuff. That's how they began. And this is set number 10053. And we get a bunch of ninjas in the Heroes in Time, Heroes of Time uh, suits. Every single one of them gets uh, a silver katana with the little sword backpack thing, as well as the minifigure place you see in front of them. Let's get these out. And all of them also come with these weird claw things, which are molded in a transparent plastic with some sort of gold bits uh, painted on top of it. And that's a pretty nice effect. I especially like the blue one. The lion one's nice too, and the rest of them are just orangey and red, which. Um, the gold color too much. They all have their uh, weapons, uh, which are just pretty much just deco. I don't think actual weapons look like this. Uh, we've got a red spear that you build here. All these are built, by the way. So you've got these lightsaber hilts in the middle and all of them. So if you want lightsaber hilts, that's great. Um, <clears throat> we've got a giant hammer using gears. A red sword here. By the way, this piece, the red piece is a rubbery, soft rubbery piece. A side with a t tooth on the other end. Uh, a blue and red sort of ice and fire thing going on, chainsaw thing with a teeth on the end, and another one of these uh, red sword things with a tooth on the end. Six ninjas here all look really good. Now I know Deku stuff usually, especially with the uh, metallic like gold or silver paints, they can smudge up a little bit. But the ones standing in front of me are all perfectly printed. I can't see any flaws with the print. That's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, Deku tends to have some issues, but hey. Uh, and the head piece, the head gear, is dual molded plastic for all of them, so that makes them extra accurate compared to other bullets and not just painted uh, helmet pieces. So they all look really, really good. Uh, even for SINH, when they dual molded the head gear, the edges seem a little bit rough, just a tiny bit rough, but I can't see any rough edges on any of these. These are some of the best produced stuff by Deku so far. The insides are also very nicely done here on the faces. Uh, the red face might be a little bit small but that could just be me finding something to nitpick. They all look really good. And just flip it around and they do have the back prints all done very nicely as well. Kudos here. Um, I'm not sure if these two are supposed to have secondary face but they don't here. But uh, yeah, the back prints and the back face prints are all done really, really well. For you who don't know, uh, Deku still uses legs that look like this underneath, which is not the same as uh, official Lego. And while the prints on all of these are really, really nice, uh, a few of them have loose legs, especially him. Look how loose that leg is. If I just sort of tap it, it's gonna... Whoa! It falls all the way down. Let's do that again. Whoa! See that? It's kind of shaking. It's, it's not going to stand the figure up for the most part. And uh, that's the that's a bummer with this one. Hopefully when you get a set you won't have that. Because just down to the print, these are almost one-to-one -one copies of the official stuff. And that's really, really good. And uh, as for this set perfectly complements Pogo set, uh, PG1009-1016, since that set only contains uh, the Vermilion and Ash and Shade characters, so um, they're no crossover characters and they're both equal of, this one's better quality but that one's also very good quality, so you put them two together you have a really good mixture of figures from one of the latest seasons. So definitely consider picking that set up and pick this one up as well and put them two together. There are no uh, pointless pieces like the Xinyan one or DLP ones, they just good quality figures except for that one weak leg one so hopefully you don't have any issues when you get your box and put that with the pogo one and you have you can do a nice little battle of good guys versus bad guys just with those two sets excellent subscribe suggest and comment below and of course take care and have a nice day i'll see you guys soon bye bye now
Thank you.